Hey, so I don't know when you'll see this. I'm making this video as if it's going to be my next video. I don't know if I will just post a random video and not explain where I've been or if I'm going to post this one because it's going to be very, a very personal video. Um, and I needed to talk about it, um, but I don't know if you will see it. I took my headphones off so I was unadjusting them a million times. As you can see, I painted my room. Uh, this is not where I normally film. I filmed in my bed before, but I normally left this wall out of the video because it always looked bad. And this wall was the wall that had the big black tapestry on it. I guess I'm just going to start. <laughs> uh, I'm really out of like comfortability. I don't know if that makes sense. It should make sense. It's not how I want to word it though. But the comfortability that I used to have behind the camera, I feel like kind of went away. Um, and I think I want to talk about that. I started my channel as like a diary to look back on um, with the idea that if people decided to watch it then they could and um, it was also kind of like for people that were in the same situation with me as me of being like undiagnosed um, and you know needing support because there really really wasn't any support and I've seen some more people on Instagram talking about being undiagnosed since I started my channel um, I don't know if that was just not something I could find at the time or what but I'm happy that there is at least someone talking about it even though I'm not actively making as many videos as I used to um, this is not me saying that I'm stopping YouTube I don't think I might not be posting as much as I used to or as often but I, I I feel like I'll probably still be uploading videos just sporadically. Eventually, hopefully, it will be back to, you know, three videos a week like it used to be. But, um, I'm having a lot of difficulty with videos. And there's a million reasons why. And I've... I've kind of, like, avoided making this video based on these, like, fears, I guess. Um, like I said, it was going to be, my channel was going to be this open diary, and when I first started my channel, I was really not afraid of censoring myself, and I've realized that as I've gotten, as my channel's progressed, um, and you have other people's opinions, um, coming in at you through comments, it's really hard not to want to censor yourself, um, um, I don't want to be seen as like not positive or offensive and um my whole life I've always been misunderstood and the last thing I wanted to do was take something that I enjoyed and find a bunch of people not understanding me and that has created a lot of fears with openly being myself and talking about things that I wanted to talk about because oh the, the whoever stumbles across it might think it's stupid or not important or you're just complaining um all these things and I need to shut that down in my own head and post what I want to post and if you want to watch it then fuck yes if you don't then fuck you that might seem rude but that's the attitude that I'm going to need in order to do it because I have to kind of have that block. I've always had to have a strong block in order to do something. Um, when the majority, not, with, not the majority, but when there's going to be, there's always going to be someone that disagrees with you. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I had a really good things that I wanted to say um, before I started the camera. So I'm going to talk and hopefully it leads to me to where I want to go. I didn't turn my refrigerator off for this video and I didn't turn off the fountain. So there's going to be background noise. It's another thing that really bothers me. Every time I edit I get pissed because there's always some kind of background noise. Even if I turn off the camera, I mean turn off my refrigerator or whatever, um, I always forget to plug it in so I'm going to stop doing that.
and it, and it's the perfectionist in me. It, if my videos weren't perfect, then I didn't want to post them. And I went with the um, advice from several YouTubers, not particularly to me, to me, but just like someone else asked them and they talked about it in the video of if you're wanting your video to be perfect then you're never going to post it and i kind of went from listening to that advice to slowly walking away from that advice and getting very very frustrated with videoing since starting my channel i have deteriorated in ways that i wasn't expecting um mainly mentally um and when you're editing and you're trying to talk and all that it really became apparent to me how how I was deteriorating the 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 lack of ability to pick the specific words I want I used to always be very um I don't want to say proud but I was very I really liked the fact that I could pick a word and it would mean exactly what I wanted to say because again if I could pick the perfect word, there's less chance of someone misunderstanding me. People are always going to misunderstand you, and I have to realize that. But it was the ability, my ability to be able to try to avoid that as much as possible. And when there's a word I want, and I'm sitting trying to film a video, and I'm trying to get that perfect word, it gets so frustrating, and it makes me not even want to do it because I'm faced with losing something that I treasured. Mm. Here, biscuit. So basically, I guess this is a video of me saying that I want to get back to who I was when I first started my channel. Um, I was doing really well mentally. And then I started videoing or recording and doing YouTube. And um, it helped me go through a lot of insecurities that I had and it helps me work through those. Um, I've said it several times but I used to be so insecure that I didn't think I had the right to talk unless someone spoke to me. I didn't think that I had the right to like other people's Facebook posts so I would literally get on Facebook and just look at things and not share or like anything because I assumed that people thought that I was such a low, not even a person really, just a thing that was there that didn't deserve to enjoy what they were posting. It was... Like the fact that they even like added me as a friend, because I would never add people as a friend. Because again, I thought that I didn't have that right. Um, the fact that they even added me as a friend was a, a, gest a kind gesture and it's only that I should be thankful for that. And that is such a low self-esteem, but in, if you think about it, it's also a high self-esteem because I don't know if I'm making sense but when you're that when your self-esteem is that low you don't think they care about you enough to really hate you that much but they have to hate you enough to have that opinion about you does that make sense so it's like a low but high self-esteem in the fact that you view yourself as dirt and you think everybody else thinks you thinks you as dirt but if people actually thought you as dirt or like they hate you then they actually have some care about you because they because hating somebody takes a lot of energy that's basically what i'm trying to say hopefully that makes sense um and i slowly worked from that from middle school towards probably high school um when i was around 15 i really became tired about everything and i was tired of people I don't know what other word besides to say it's just people in my life were just be doing a lot of injustice to me and were treating me horribly and I got tired of it and I don't know something clicked I don't know exactly what it was but something clicked and I wanted that to stop and I wanted I wanted to be happy and I wanted to work through things it it, it you know when you want I don't know what I'm saying. Well, I do, but I don't know how to say it. You can't help yourself, or someone can't help you unless you want to be helped. And it was that moment where I finally wanted to get better. And I, and I wanted to 
push through all of the false beliefs that I had. And, um... <laughs> that was a moment that was, that is I treasured because it, it led me to where I am today. You know, I have to realize that improving yourself and becoming where I want to be is a journey and that journey is going to have rocky moments just like any chronic illness journey or like a journey of whatever the fuck it is. Um, it's always going to have r bumps and I allowed the bump of finding certain insecurities when I started a channel that I didn't know I had to hinder my ability to push through it. I'm not complaining because I'm needed to know about those insecurities. In order to work on something, you have to know it's there. And I wouldn't have known it's there until I started a channel. And yes, some of them I knew that they were there. Um, and I worked through those, but some of them that I knew were there, I knew they were there, but I didn't. Does that make sense? Like, you know that something is a reality, but it's such a, like, foggy thing that you don't really pay attention to it kind of thing. Hopefully that makes sense. And so anyway, I guess what I'm saying is that I'm having to work through insecurities and difficulties that I kind of knew I had, but really wasn't paying attention to them, and ones that I never realized that I had. And when you film a video, and when you're editing, and you're looking at yourself for several hours, you're having to face that for a lot longer. You're not able to ignore it. It's, it's in your face, and that's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Um, and again, one of those fears is that people are going to think that I'm not a positive person. I think I'm a positive person, but I'm not like this, like sugarcoat everything, I'm going to avoid negativity because I think avoiding negativity in itself is toxic. Not very many people have that belief. But when you're trying to avoid any resemblance of something that's toxic, because those, because anything that is not inherently positive and sunshiny and, you know, rainbow shit, I lost where it was at. If you try to avoid hard feelings or hard emotions, then in itself you are creating something toxic. And you know, we're in this like, I don't know if an era is the correct term, but like, uh, how does how do people say it? I hate it so much that I don't even know how to say it. Um, positive only zone or something like that, I don't remember how they word it. People will block you if, if you say anything that's not 100% positive. If you talk about something that is anywhere near inherently not like this is amazing or whatever, then they don't want you in your life. And that in itself, to me, shows that they have something in their life that is negative and they're trying to run away from it. And in order to keep running away from it, they have to run from other people that are working through their own bullshit. That's my opinion. If you don't have that opinion, that's completely fine. But that's my opinion. And I let those people affect what I said on my channel and what I talked about. Um, I want to talk about things that are not necessarily just chronic illness. Um, I might have started my channel that way, kind of, with that it's only going to be chronic illness stuff. Um, I always had an intention to branch out from that. Um, but like, for instance, I'm an atheist. Every time I talk about that, people cringe at that and I get that being an atheist is like a bad thing and taboo but I don't want to hide that part of myself because I am proud of that um and our generation my generation has this huge thing where if you can't follow somebody or you can't like somebody and, and disagree with them um um People only want to associate with themselves with people where they 100% agree with each other. And that's not po possible. Um, I follow a lot of people that I don't agree with 100%. And other people have a really hard time with that. And I think that is, in itself, is negative. Um, there, it's, it's 
100% impossible to find somebody that you absolutely agree with everything about. Um, and so many people are afraid of talking about things because they know that people act that way. If, um, and I'm not talking about things that are like following people that are immoral or have like huge immoral beliefs and stuff. Just like if you have different political views or different religious beliefs. I don't think that's necessarily 100% immoral. Of course, me as an atheist could argue that some of that is immoral, but that's not the point. Hey, my camera is dying. I think I have another battery though. Okay, I'm back. Um, I don't know how much longer I will, this video will be. Um, but Oscar just started eating, so please ignore that. I think this video is more for me. Um, it's, it's not really for you. I think I need to say this in order to do what I want. Just to do what I want and post what I want. Um, and for some reason it's freaking stupid. But I can post whatever the hell I want on my Facebook and my Instagram and not give a shit. But on YouTube, it's so much harder and I don't know really why because I can get bad or negative comments on my Instagram and just block people or, or you know give them a, a reason an argument but I feel like when you do that on YouTube it's it doesn't really work like I can block them um I, just, I guess I view it differently on YouTube and I'm noticing that I'm trying to give reasons of why this video is important and that's not for myself because I know why this video is important, but I guess it's for the people that are going to be watching it. And that in itself is something that I need to work on. I don't need a reason to make a video. It can simply just be the fact that I want to make the fucking video. But there's just so many negative people and, and, it, inter and it influences what I post and, and I'm tired of it. it. That needs to stop. This is my channel and I want to post and I'm going to post what I want to post and like I have so many video ideas that are considered controversial like I want to talk about ABDL and how I think that's impacted the incontinence community even though that there's really not an incontinence community but I'm using that as like the people with incontinence it in, it affects incontinence people how do I say that it it affects people with incontinence there we go um and I plan on doing that um I had a, a video, and I still have it, uh, where I was talking about all the bullshit that a bunch of doctors and teachers um, posted. Not posted. Why can't I talk? Um, <laughs> you're a biscuit. Ha ha! You're a biscuit. Woo! Um, did to me, and it was gonna make a part two, but I didn't make a part two simply because it's such a it's a negative thing. It, it's, a, it's a very hard part of my life. There's no way to sugarcoat it and, I, and you can't sugarcoat it and I think sugarcoating it would be a disservice to me. And I think talking about it and putting it out there, hopefully they see it, is a good thing for me. I think it's therapeutic. This channel is for you, but it's mainly for me. And I feel like that makes me sound like an asshole, but... <sighs> And I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm worried about how people are going to interpret this. But I, I need this to be something that helps me work through issues that I have. There are so many people with channels like this, and I don't think it's a bad thing. But it, it goes back to like, I thought I was dirt, and now I'm doing something for myself. And that is, it, from a lot of people in my life, would be viewed as, what's the word? I don't know the word. Um, guilty is not the right word. Self-absorbed is not the right word, but it kind of gets you to the right word that I want. Hopefully you can say it in your head for me. Um, but anyway, I want to make the content that I want to make. And I want to make it without anxiety. Um, it, not living with anxiety is completely impossible, but I want to make it with the, the least amount of disabling anxiety as possible. That's a better way to word it. Um, Self-love is a beautiful thing, and I hope you realize that this video is me loving myself. And that's another thing. I always cry, and I know that probably bothers people, but I'm a crier. I cannot watch TV, cannot watch a ad without 
crying because it either makes me happy or mad or my emotions are just constantly at the edge and whether that's a good thing or, or not it's who I am right now I don't want to run away from who I am I want you're either gonna like who I am or you're not and I'm gonna have to learn to be okay with that so yeah my next video if this is even posted hopefully I am strong enough to edit this and post it um, I think it's gonna be another kind of video like this where um, I talk about some painful things, but I think it's kind of like a positive twist to it. Not that that really should matter. It is basically me being very vulnerable, and I said a lot of things that I probably shouldn't have needed to say, but I said them to help me. I tend to over-explain myself to try to um, possibly keep people from being judgmental. And I know that when you over explain, people want to be even more judgmental for some. But um, I've always kind of over explained. And I don't know if I necessarily view that as something that I need to stop doing or something that I should allow myself to do because it does help. That's, that's something that I need to work on and work through and figure out for myself. Um, but if you made it this long, thank you. I hope that you have an amazing day. I hope that you are working through some false beliefs that you have and some um, insecurities and traumas and um, thank you for staying alive. Don't forget that you know your body better than anybody else and I'll see you next time, whenever that is. Bye.